Versus, a monody, to commemorate the author's friend, Arthur Hugh Clough. How changes here each spot man makes or fills. In the two Hinkses, nothing keeps the same. The village street, its haunted mansion lacks, and from the sign is gone, Sibylla's name, and from the roofs, the twisted chimney stacks, are ye too changed, ye hills? See, tis no foot of unfamiliar men, tonight from Oxford up your pathway strays, here came I often, often in old days, Thursis and I, and we still had Thursis then. Runs it not here, the track by Charlesworth Farm, past the high wood to where the elm tree crowns, the hill behind whose ridge the sunset flames, the signal elm that looks on Ilsey Downs, the vale, the three lone weirs, the youthful Thames. This winter eve is warm, humid air, leafless, yet soft as spring, the tender purple spray on copse and briars, and that sweet city with her dreaming spires. She needs not June for beauty's heightening. Lovely times she lies, lovely tonight, only methinks some loss of habit's power befalls me wandering through this upland dim. Once passed I blindfold here at any hour. Now seldom come I since I came with him. That single elm tree bright against the west. I miss it. Is it gonna? We prized it dearly while it stood. We said our friend, the gypsy scholar, was not dead. While the tree lived, he in these fields lived on. Too rare, too rare grow now my visits here. But once I knew each field, each flower, each stick, and with the country folk acquaintance made, by barn in threshing time, by new-built rick, here too our shepherd pipes we first essayed. Ah me, this many a year my pipe is lost, my shepherd's holiday. Needs must I lose them, needs with a heavy heart, into the world and wave of men depart. But Thersis of his own will will went away. It irked him to be here, he could not rest. He loved each simple joy the country yields. He loved his mates, but yet he could not keep, for that a shadow lowered on the fields. Here were the shepherds and the silly sheep, some life of men unblessed. He knew, which made him droop and filled his head. He went his piping took a troubled sound of storms that rage outside our happy ground. He could not wait their passing. He is dead. So some tempestuous morn in early June, when the year's primal burst of bloom is o'er, before the roses and the longest day, when garden walks and all the grassy floor with blossoms red and white of fallen May, and chestnut flowers are strewn, so have I heard the cuckoo's parting cry. From the wet field, through the vexed garden trees, come with the volleying rain and the tossing breeze. The bloom is gone, and with the bloom go I. Too quick, despairer, wherefore wilt thou go? Soon will the high midsummer pomps come on, soon will the musk carnations break and swell, soon shall we have gold dusted snapdragon, sweet William with his homely cottage smell, and stocks in fragrant blow, roses that down the alleys shine afar, 
and open jazz and jasmine muffled lattices and groups under the dreaming garden trees and the full moon and the white evening star. He hearkens not, light comer, he is flown. What matters it? Next year he will return, and we shall have him in the sweet spring days, with whitening hedges and the uncrumpling fern, and the bluebells trembling by the forest ways, and the scent of hay new mown. But Thyrsis, never more we swains shall see. See him come back and cut a smoother reed, and blow a strain the world at last shall heed. For time, not Corridon, hath conquered thee. Alack, for Corridon, no rival now. But when Sicilian shepherds lost a mate, some good survivor with his fruit would go, piping a ditty sad for Bion's fate, and cross the unpermitted ferry's flow, and relax Pluto's brow, and make leap up with joy the beauteous head of Prosperine, among whose crowned hair are flowers first opened on Sicilian air, and flute his friend like Orpheus from the dead. O oh, easy access to the hearer's grace, when Dorian Shepherd sang to Prosperine, for she herself had trod Sicilian fields. She knew the Dorian's waters gush divine. She knew each lily white which Enna yields, each rose with blushing face. She loved the Dorian pipe, the Dorian strain, but ah, of our poor Thames, she never heard. Her foot, the Cumner cowslips, never stirred, and we should tease her with our plaint in vain. Well, wind dispersed, and vain the words will be, yet Thyrsis, let me give our grief its hour in the old haunt, and find our tree-topped hill, who, if not I, for questing here hath power. I know the wood which hides the daffodil, I know the fifield tree, I know what white, what purple, fritillaries, the grassy harvest of the river's fields, above by Ensham, down by Sanford yields, what sedged brooks are Thames's tributaries. I know these slopes, who knows them if not I? For many a tingle on the loved hillside, with thorns once studded, old, white blossomed trees, where thick the cowslips grew, and far descried, high towered the spikes of purple orchises, hath since our day put by the coronals of that forgotten time. Down each green bank hath gone the ploughboy's team. And only in the hidden brookside gleam primroses, orphans of their flowery prime. Where is the girl who by the boatman's door, above the locks, above the boating throng, unmoored our skiff when we through Witham flats, red, loose strife, and blonde meadow sweet among, and darting swallows, and light water gnats, the tracked the shy Thames shore, where are the mowers who, as the tiny swell of our boat passing heaved the river grass, stood with suspended scythe to see us pass? They all are gone, and thou art gone as well. Yes, they are, thou art gone, and round me too the night in ever nearing circle weaves her shade. I see her veil draw soft across the day. I feel her slowly chilling breath invade, the cheek grown thin, the brown hair sprent with grey. I feel her light finger laid pausefully upon life's headlong train. The foot 
less prompt to meet the morning dew, the heart less bounding at emotion new, and hope, once crushed, less quick to spring again. And long the way appears, which seems so short, to the less practiced eye of sanguine youth, and high the mountain tops in cloudy air, the mountain tops where is the, th the throne of truth, tops in life's morning sun so bright and bare, unbreachable the fort of the long battered world uplifts its wall, and strange and vain the earthly turmoils grows, and near and real the charm of thy repose, and night as welcome as a friend would fall. But hush, the upland hath a sudden loss of quiet. Look, adown the dusk hillside, a troop of Oxford hunters going home, as in old days jovial and talking ride. From hunting with the Berkshire hounds they come, quick, let me fly and cross into yon father field. Tis done, and see, back by the sunset, which doth glorify the orange and pale violet evening sky, bare on its lonely fringe. The tree, the tree! I take the omen. Eve lets down her veil, and white fog creeps from bush to bush about. The west unflushes, and the high stars grow bright, and in the scattered farms the lights come out. I cannot reach the signal tree tonight, yet happy omen, hail, hear it from the broad, lucent Arno Vale. For there thine earth forgetting eyelids keep, the morningless and unawakening sleep under the flowery oleanders pale. Hear it, O Thyrsis, still our tree is there, our vein, these English fields, this upland dim, these brambles pale with mist, engarlanded, that lone sky-pointing tree, are not for him. To a boon southern country he has fled, and now, in happier air, wandering with the great mother's train divine, and purer or more subtle soul than thee, I trow, the mighty mother doth not see within a folding of the Apennine. Thou hearest the immortal chants of old, putting his sickle to the perilous grain in the hot cornfield of the Phrygian king. For thee, the lit Ierse's song again, young Daphnis, with his silver voice doth sing, sings his Sicilian fold, his sheep, his hapless love, his blinded eyes, and how a call celestial round him rang, and heavenward from the fountain brink he sprang, and all the marvel of the golden skies. There thou art gone, and me thou leavest here, soul in these fields. Yet will I not despair, despair I will not, while I yet descry, neath the mild canopy of English air, that lonely tree against the western sky. Still, still these slopes tis clear, our gypsy scholar haunts, outliving thee, fields where soft sheep from cages pull the hay, weeds with anemones in flower till May, know him a wanderer still, but then why not me? A fugitive and a gracious light he seeks, shy to illume, and I seek it too. This does not come with houses, or with gold, with place, with honour, 
and a flattering crew. Tis not in the world's market bought and sold, but the smooth slipping weeks drop by and leave its seeker, seeker still untired. Out of the heat of mortals he is gone. He wends unfollowed, he must house alone, yet on he fares by his own heart inspired. Thou too, O Thersist, on like quest wast bound. Thou wanderest with me for a little hour. Men gave me nothing but this happy quest. If men esteemed thee feeble, gave thee power. If men procured thee trouble, gave thee rest. And this rude common ground, its fur-topped hearst, its farms, its quiet fields, where camest thou in thy jocund youthful time? Here was thine height of strength, thy golden prime, and still the haunt beloved of virtue yields. What though the music of thy rusty flute kept not for long its happy country tone, lost it too soon, and learnt a stormy note of men contention tossed, of men who groan, which task thy pipe too sore, and tie thy throat, it failed, and thou wage mute. Yet hadst thou always visions of our light, and long with men of care thou couldst not stay, and soon thy foot resumed its wandering way, left human haunt, and on alone till night. Too rare, too rare, grow now my visits here. Mid city noise, not as with thee of yore. Thersis, in reach of sheep bells, is my home. Then through the great town's harsh, heart wearying roar, let in thy voice a whisper often come to chase fatigue and fear. Thou faintest not. I wandered till I died. Roam on. The light we sought is shining still. Dost thou ask proof? Our tree yet crowns the hill. Our scholar travels yet the loved hillside.